What's up guys, John Sonnemus here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I'm gonna do a real quick video today. I'm gonna to tell you about how not to be scammed as a freelancer, as a programmer, because you might be doing some side jobs you know, it's a really dangerous situation in, in terms of, of your wasting of time. I've been scammed myself. I've been not paid for things and it's, it's just a real, real pain, real hassle. So if you guys are just joining me for the first time, I'm John from simpleprogrammer.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be uh, the programmer that you want to be. I teach you the soft skills that you need in order to succeed in your career, to climb that ladder and to become a better uh, well, maybe not better, but a well-adjusted human being. I unnerd people. That's what they t they call me, the nerd whisperer. So I'll make you less of a nerd and more of a cool guy. All right, and also uh, you should get my book, The Complete Software Developer Career Guide, because you know that's pretty damn cool. It's, you know this thing is cool to carry around. You carry this around, you're just like chicks will be just crawling all over you. You know you'll be you'll be unnerded in no time here. So uh, go check it out on Amazon. Click the subscribe button, join us. All right, so let's talk about this. How do I protect myself from being scammed? Lexi asked me this question. He said, my question is for you is, I'm a new web developer and I've started freelancing for a company for about three months and it was a total bust. I got scammed out of $8,000 worth of work. Now my friends and family tell me that it's my fault for not leaving as soon as I didn't receive my first paycheck, but I'm a global person, always believing in the good. What should I do to make sure I don't get scammed in the future if I do decide to keep on freelancing? So here's the simple thing that, that I do, okay, is I always work on a retainer, just like a lawyer does, because lawyer ain't gonna get screwed. See, you should always do what lawyers do, because lawyers are smart they know okay and they can actually sue you uh very easily yet they still work on a retainer why 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 because people don't pay their invoices see i won't lift a finger to do something for you until you've paid me once you've paid me i will get to work but until you've paid me i ain't doing shit that's right i ain't doing shit okay now i've had situations where i had some freelancing work and a company said, that's not how we work. We pay you after you do the work. And I said, ha ha, that's not how I work. I like to get paid. And they're like, well, you know, and I'm like, well, you know, you're not worth the trouble. Sorry. I, I'm not going to take a job where I, where I risk not getting paid or, or where you do some kind of net 90 invoice and you play games with payroll. I've done all that. I did that guys. I did that before. So you're going to turn down some business. Okay. But you just have to explain it in, in a very simple way. Just say this. Okay. If someone wants to, you know, do business, would you say, look, you know, the way, here's the way that I, I operate. I work on a retainer. So, uh, so it will cost you, uh, you know, whatever our estimated work is for, for one week. Uh, I need to, you to pay that in advance as a retainer. And then, you know, that will go, I will bill towards that, that time that what you, what you've already paid. You know, this is the advantageous to you because you don't have to worry about, about paying me or me going over budget or sending you a higher bill than, than what you expect. If I'm going to go over a budget, I, I would tell you, and then you could decide if you wanted to, uh, to, to pay more or not, but I'm only going to work as much as, as you've, you've paid, right? Uh, it works for me. I don't have to worry about bugging you about invoices. I can be pretty annoying when it comes to that. And it works for you because you know, you're going to get this work done and you know what the price is going to be, you know? So that's one way of saying it. You could say it a lot of different ways, whatever you want to come up with, but you have to have some guts and you have to be able to turn down work. And I've turned down work before because I know that chasing invoices isn't worth it. And if someone does not pay you, they're done. That's it. Uh, the, you, you don't have time in your life to deal with people who don't pay. If they don't pay, and that's it. You cut them off and they're no longer a client. That It's as simple as that. So, uh, you know, this is a real short, real simple video. Hopefully you guys get the message here. But, uh, you know, if you haven't been stiff for eight grand, you, you're not going to understand what it's like. But if you have, then you know that you have to go down this road. You have to require a re retainer. And, you know, unless it's someone that you've worked with for a long time before, uh, that's a totally different thing. But you can just explain. You can just say, hey, look, a lot of times people don't pay me. I, d I know that you're not probably going to do that. But, you know, again, we don't have a history. If you, you know, you can pay me a retainer and then after some period of time, if everything is going well, then we can, we can go to an invoice system. But, you know, I wouldn't even recommend that. Honestly, just get people used to paying a retainer. You know, I, I do a lot of business. I, I bill over uh, like $250,000 a year on retainer right now, uh, just, just on freelance type of business type of work. So, you know, people pay it. 
uh, you, you gotta just gotta put your foot down and say that's what you require if you if you want to get paid. Otherwise, you could be chasing invoices. You're gonna be chasing uh, deadbeats, and it, you're gonna be wasting a lot of time. All right, guys. If, like I said, if you haven't already, go pick up the book. Uh, this will this talks about freelancing. I have some freelancing advice in here as well. And I will talk to you next time.